hello guys welcome back to my sewing corner welcome to my channel if you're new here you're very much welcome thank you for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video i do appreciate you for that briefly today i'm just going to be showing us how to make an hairline gun this is the fabric i'll be using it's a lycra material as you can see stretchy and um, but it has ankara print on it as a design so it's not like a mimic of ankara prints okay so this is lycra material so you can use it for english dress and also native wears the measurement i'll be using in this project will be displayed on the screen all right guys so as you can see i've folded my fabric and i need to understand that you fold your fabric using the widest measurement plus the allowance you want for your a line okay i'm going to explain that now because it's a gown the widest part of my measurement is the hips as you would have seen in the measurements okay now the hips that I'm working with is 54 inches. So if you divide it by two for the front and the back, okay, now that's 27, 27. Now um, because we're going to be cutting on fold, then you divide again into two, okay? So that's 27 divided by two, and that is about 13.5, okay? So now any allowance you want to give to that, you know, if you're cutting 13.5 directly, it's going to just be straight. This is a tip for plus size women. Whenever I'm cutting gowns like this, I always use the underbust as the reference for my shaping. Now, hair lines, there are different types of hair lines. There are hair lines where you start your shaping from the waist measurement. There are hair lines where you cut it straight up to the hips and then after the hips or below the knee, you just shape your measurement. Also, I'm going to insert that into my measurement so that way it's going to give you the shaping that it needs. So it's not going to be shapeless. On fold here, I have I have 23 inches, and remember I said that my hips when we divided everything, I got 13.5. So that means I've given it 9.5 inches for the A line. So the allowance I give for my A line is just 9.5. If you have more fabric, you can do it. If you have less fabric, you can also reduce it to like 20 or 18. Those are it won't be as full as somebody who's using. 30 inches or 25 inches okay it all depends on the fabric you have okay so consider the length of your gown i did that you know when i was folding it you consider the length of your gown to be sure it's going to be enough for you here i have, I have roughly 50 inches and my normal length is actually 47 my short gown length is 47 so plus two inches allowance and then everything for hemming i give you just three inches okay and this is center of our fabric please take notes so my shoulder line is eight inches now from there i'll mark my one inch slope now mark my ample from that one inch slope which is nine inches i hope you can see it and then i want to connect the line so i'll mark the same eight inches i marked here so that i can connect the lines We have this is our chest line or the handhold line, any way you call it. Now for the neck width, I'm just going to be working with five inches. It's going to be a sort of a kino neck, so it's going to be wide but high, okay? And I'm going to be working with the depth, the depth of um, 2.5 inches, okay? And I'll just connect it. So, I give it the allowance as well. Then I'll connect my shoulder slope. Remember the one inch I came down by? Okay. Then I'll give it the allowance as well. I hope you can see that. Okay. So, this is our shoulder line, our shoulder slope, and this is my neckline. This is my chest line. So, next I'm going to be marking a vertical measurement. The bust point is 12 inches. Under bust is 17 inches. I hope you can see it. Like I said, the under bust is going to be my reference. So, I'm just going to take it up to my under bust. If you're using your waist as your reference point for the shaping, please take your measurements up to the waist. Take a vertical also to the waist point, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and do my measurements. 12 inches in my bust. My under bust is 10 inches. Now I'm just going to give them about, let me just give it 2 inches allowance. Okay. 
for the ham hole, I'm just going to find the midpoint of that line, which is 4.5. I'll come in by 3 quarter inch and I'll just connect my ham hole curve. Okay, like so. I'll just remember I marked the underboss point here. From that point, I'm going to connect it straight down to my to the end of my gown. So, like I said, I said I was going to be inserting that in this my own A-line gown just for a bit of shaping. Okay, so one inch below the boss point. This is my boss point, so I'm just gonna measure from the beginning to the top. I'm just gonna measure 10 inches. Okay, I hope you can see that. And five inches will start from that point, and from that point, I'm just going to measure 10 inches. Okay, so that it will get to the waistline. So I hope you can see that. I hope you can see it. So this is it. This is 10 inches below the one inch that we marked here. So I'm just going to connect the lines and we'll take our that. Okay, so this is Can you see that? Okay. So now I'm just going to find the midpoint of this line, which is five inches. So I'm going to mark three quarter inch on both sides of that point that I marked. Can you see three quarter to this side, three quarter to the other side, and I'll just connect it to give me the two edge dots. Okay. So this is the way my dots will look like. And this is my airline girl. Sorry, it's my pen and the shoe. If it was chalk, it would even be worse. But let me give you a closer look. Can you see? So this is where my dad starts from. And this is one inch below the bust point. This is the bust point. So this is one inch below this bust point. And this is like the center of the... From this point to this point, where my dad ends, this is the midpoint. So at the midpoint, I just marked 10 inches from this one inch below the bust point. One inch and... From that point, I max 10 inches down. Okay, so and I found the center or the midpoint, and I marked three quarter inch to the side and three quarter inch to the side. You can use 0 0.5, which is like the standard for normal darts for a basic bodies. Okay, so I used three quarter on both sides, and I just connected it from this point to this point, and this one to this point, this to this, and this to this. I'll do the same thing on the other side, and I will sew it as my dart. But I have to return what I have taken back to this measurement. Okay, so now I'm just going to return what we took at the waist line back to the normal measurement. So I took about 1.5 inches. I'm just going to add it back. And I will reshape my A line. Okay? So I'm just going to connect it to the base of my gown. This is what it looks like now you come to the base of the gown yeah and you see and because you don't want it to be too sharp you know you don't want your hairline to be too sharp you just give a bit of shaping at that edge okay you just come here and you come it to when i'm cutting it you see it better so let's just cut now so you can see what we have Can you see the base? So, at this point, I've reduced the sharp edge, okay? And this is what the upper part of the gown looks like, okay? Alright, guys, so I have just placed the front bodies on the back bodies, and you guys can see I've given allowance here. So, 
what you just need to do is to give allowance to the back bodies and then increase your front bodies but i'm just going to be making alterations to the ham hole because i'm not going to be using the same ham hole i used for those front bodies for the back bodies every other thing will be the same i'm just going to go ahead and cut it and then i'll open this back zip and um, this zip allowance so that um, there would be uh, you can put it you can insert the zip and also i'll transfer the dart like i did here that's here i'll transfer it to the back and also i'll just cut and you see what it looks like okay so this is what our a-line gown is looking like both the front and the back bodies and i want to see the difference between the hammer for well, the this is the front bodies you can see that the back bodies has a bit of extra allowance there because there's no hollow for the back bodies and i had to reduce the depth of the back neck line as you can see and this is the zip allowance and i've also inserted the dads for the back actually what i used was just to repeat the front bodies that like this and then i just increased it up to the chest line so we have about 13 inches from the chest line downwards to about 13 inches find the midpoint and take your whether still find your under bust or your reference point if you're using your waist and then you take your three quarter inch on both sides and you connect the dots like so so basically this is what we have 